topic of this writing is, where you were is only a reference. I'm reminded of a time I was out of work and received a job offer. I said to my friend Paul, it's not close to the money I was making. He succinctly replied, it's more money than you're making now. Where you were and what you had are only references to a time that no longer exists. It's amazing how often we attempt to live there. It's a land of if-onlys and could-have-beens, totally separated from here and now. Where am I now? That's a question we can ask ourselves every day. It's a grounding query that leaves no doubt about our current location. We can only move forward from this spot. Attempting to do so from a time gone by is spinning our wheels. If I only had the snow chains that I had for my tires back in 1973, I wouldn't be stuck here in this storm. Referring back may gain you perspective, but it'll never provide traction. We can all use some more mirror moments. They provide real-time data rather than reflections of the past. Reminds me of a story. I once worked with a bartender who claimed that late on a Tuesday night was the loneliest night of the week. He said the conversations of patrons were almost exclusively about there and then, and their stories were used as justifications for where they are now. Are you stuck in a car or a bar? The remedy is to notice where you are now. It's only from here that you can steer away from the beer or whatever else you use to keep yourself trapped in the past. Let here and now become your sacred cow, and you won't keep walking around in a field of bullshit. All the best, John.